Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There comes Norma. <clears throat> Hi, Miss Phyllis. Hey, Miss Norma. How are you? I'm good. And you? <laughs> I am good. I got to turn my sound up. I can't hear. Let's see. Okay. Now I can hear. Hang on. Okay. Let me stop sharing. Ah, I don't <laughs> see you. You didn't see me? Okay. Wait a minute. I hear you though. I hear you good. Yes. There I you see. are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I can find the, the basket. I said, where did, where did I put it? Where did I put it? I remember I put it in the one sheet in my notebook. Now, <laughs> now I come because my daughter, the, she not just no more virtual classes. She goes in. She when she goes to school the oh, person classes because the two weeks was very hard for her and for me. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
He said, mommy, oh, mommy, I need to come back to school. I said, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> Bless her heart. Wow. Yes. But, uh, she don't like it because it was very hard. She got stressed. Well, it is very has hard. a lot of work. Yes, I'm putting off my, my phone. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe somebody called me. Okay. Wow. Well. At least in school, the teachers can explain it and be a whole lot easier for her. So that'll that'll take a lot of stress off of her. Yes, well, we have a lot of stress because we have a lot of work every day, every day. In one week before, we have more work, more, more, more, more, and more. <laughs> mm. She said, Mommy, I need to come back to school. I said, okay, go ahead. I don't like it, but... It's more good for her. <laughs> I, am. I miss you, Miss Felix. Huh? I miss you. I miss your classes too. No, we miss seeing you too. <laughs> <laughs> last week, I just had uh, Pedro and Sonia last week. Uh, uh -huh. Rami, the new student, couldn't come. And he's he won't be here this week. He's out of town. Uh-huh. So, but hopefully, um, Pedro and... Sonia will get on shortly. Maybe Pedro shared a message, but I don't read what he said. He said, sorry, I'm, I don't know. He said he's flying or I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we worked hard. Well, last week was fall break, so we didn't, we didn't uh, yeah. have class, but we worked hard the last two weeks that mm -hmm. you so um I, I had them working hard because the story was in two parts yes i sure that we read it all before fall break so it wouldn't be so long between part one and part two so i right, so we got it all done we're actually, let's see, we're on page. Maria sent me and this sent me this morning that maybe she take class today. <laughs> maybe oh, she has time. Maybe <laughs> she, I know she's been busy with her son. Yes, I, I know. He's in band and everything. So uh -huh. I'm sure that a lot of practicing. So okay. That. You went away. I don't see you anymore. I don't I know. Just maybe maybe Maria <laughs> coming in a few minutes. <laughs> maybe so. It's just I don't know what time it is. Let's see. It is six forty-one. Maybe they'll maybe they'll get on here in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I need I need to stop at eight tonight. So we'll mm -hmm. if everybody gets on by seven, that'll give us a good hour for class. So okay. <coughs> Goodness. <clears throat> I ate corn on the cob for supper Ooh. and I have, I've got corn in my teeth. I, I didn't have time to brush my teeth before I got <laughs> So it's like, it's, ah. it's the season because fall is coming, a lot of dirty anyway. Mm, the same, like me, sometimes I have a cough, but it's for, I forget to take my medicine for allergies. <laughs> oh, yes. I said, well, I don't feel my throat. I take two medicine, three medicine for allergies, spray, hey. two pills. Yeah, but when I need it, when I don't need it, I use only spray. When I don't need it, I don't use nothing. But yesterday and today, I use it because I don't feel good. Well, I just take, well, I take a, um, well, what is that allergy medicine? I forgot. <laughs> um, whatever it is, I take a pill and then I take a, do that nose spray, the nasacort. Mm -hmm. and nasacort. That, helps, yes. that helps open my um, nose? ears and ears oh. and like I had fluid in my ear and it, it make it makes me sound like I'm talking in my head. Mm -hmm. Sounds mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's it's better. It's better. So this is a bad time of year for allergies. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Winter is coming. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> the, at least this year with the with us doing class on, on Zoom, we can um 
We can't have an excuse for not coming out. Here comes Maria. Uh huh. Hey, Maria. There <laughs> comes Maria. <laughs> she connected to. <laughs> Okay, Norma, your face went away. I don't see your face anymore. No, no. What happened? I don't know. I just ah, see your... one more time. My video is off. <laughs> uh, now there why. you are. Yeah. Hey, Maria. Hey, and you hi, hi. Maria too. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Maria? I'm good. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. We missed you. <laughs> I miss you too. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Hi, Norma. Hi. <laughs> are, are you I'll... running too? <laughs> are, are you back to exercising, Maria? At the yes, at the, you are. I went to the center. <laughs> yeah. Oh my really? goodness! Yeah. I went to dance. <laughs> I didn't know if they were still, if they were back to having classes. I had. Yeah, tried. yes, they do. Uh huh. Well, yeah. good, good. But I know you love it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Come on, Pedro and Sonia. We ready to roll. Yeah, we're waiting for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope that we'll we'll wait another couple of minutes and see if they come yeah. on. We're um, I tell Norma because Norma missed a couple of weeks too because her yes. daughter had all kinds of homework. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, is your son yes. going to school in in person? Yes. Ryan? Yeah, yes, my, my son is doing in person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's more easy, but yeah, it's easier. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I was scared for coronavirus, but we pray every day for the. <laughs> well, that's all you can do is just, you know, yes. hope she stays safe and mm -hmm. doesn't yeah. bring anything home. And that's all yeah. you can do. We can't, we can't stay locked up all the time, can we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, okay, let's see. We are on page, what did I say? Page 92. That's where we are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Y'all can go back and read the the the story we had was in two parts, part one and part two, and it was a really it was a really good story. Um, so Y'all can go back and read that and answer those questions uh, to that. But I think all of what we're going to do tonight to finish out this lesson, it's just. Uh, it's just about words and sounds and stuff like that. So we want, to, mm -hmm. and then next week we'll start the uh, review on 94. So y'all can be working on that if you want to. There's several parts to that. Let's see, there's okay. six parts okay. to that. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> they're kind of, they're, some of them were kind of hard, I thought. Mm -hmm. I went through okay. and did them, so. I try to do them before y'all, so I so um, I can tell pitch, you. Pitch ninety-two. Ninety-two, you said. Ninety-two. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ninety-two. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and start. Um, let me get over here and share screen real quick, and we'll do our. Miss Judy has a uh devotion for us every week okay. so let me see oh fiddlesticks where did my okay. well get off of there i don't want to do that oh well how am i going to do that okay Oh, great day in the morning. Mm -hmm. Problems, yes. problems with this silly computer. No. Ah. There we go. There we go. Oh. Now, now I'm where we're supposed to be. Noah Ark. Ah, about Noah. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that 
that was a big old art. Have you all had an opportunity to go over to Kentucky to see yes. the art there? You have? Yes, yes, no, yes. I, I have a picture of that. Oh, wow. It's, I, it's I marvelous. Go. It's, it's amazing. Oh, I nice. want to go. I'm, I'm... I want to go too. I don't know uh, what you are talking about, but I, I want to go. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it, it's really nice. It's a, yeah. it's a replica of the ark. It's the yeah. actual size mm -hmm. that Noah really? built it. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, and beautiful. inside, it's got um, all the, where the animals were, it's got all the information about how they fed them and yeah. where oh. they stayed. And it, they say it's really good. So I, I'm anxious to go. They say it takes all day. I don't remember if I went in June. I don't remember what, but I went. In June? Yes, I think in June. I don't remember what, oh, but I think it was in June. Mm -hmm. It's um, June it's, or July, I don't remember. It's up in Kentucky. It's not very far. It's, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, can you take me, Miss Phillips, when you go? Okay, <laughs> I'll know. take you. You can go okay. with me. <laughs> okay. I don't know when I'll get to go, but... Okay. <laughs> Let me know. I want to go one more time, please. <laughs> okay. Maybe we I can go a, with you. Maybe we can have a class trip, you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can have a class I would trip. like that it. Would that would be fun. Yeah, I have a yeah. class trip. Mm -hmm. uh, we might think about that next year. That mm -hmm. must be fun today. Okay. <clears throat> take all our families that would be yes. yeah yeah yeah like, but they great. say it's really nice in it yeah and then they have a another park that you go to what do they call it norma um um it, it's well i can't think of the name of it but there is there something else up there too that you go in and it tells you all kinds of stuff and they say it takes all day know. long if you do everything yeah. so <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I love it. That yes. Okay. Uh, our um, devotion tonight is, like we said, on Noah. You can tell that by the picture. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's Noah, and I, I think that's probably some of the people down there making fun of him. Maybe it's what it kind of looks like. And mm -hmm. uh, he just he just kept on going and building his art ark um, because God told him to. And uh, even though the people made fun of him and I'm sure they said, oh, he's crazy old man. What's he doing that for? And not a cloud in the sky and not even close yeah. to an ocean. And, uh, but he kept on building. So mm -hmm. the Bible verse is found in Genesis 6, 14. And it says, God told Noah, get some lumber and build a boat, put rooms mm -hmm. in it and cover it with tar inside and out. And uh, he did exactly what God said in, uh, in the um instructions he gave him exact instructions how big to build it and everything so he went by um god's instructions and mm -hmm. uh, and soon the people began to believe after the rain started coming and came on down and didn't stop and <clears throat> the people believed in noah then or believed in god then but it was too late uh god was destroying mm -hmm. the world with water so and of course, then we know the rainbow came at the end, and that's our sign that that uh, he will not destroy it with water again. So, mm -hmm. if you have a chance, read Genesis six, the whole chapter, and it'll be the story of Noah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All the right. Whole chapter okay. six. Uh, chapter okay. six. Genesis six. Okay. Genesis six. Be the the story of Noah. Yes. right let me get back over here to stop share and there everybody is yep okay all right well, let's look at our uh we're going to do our lesson first and then we're going to do a few um idioms mm -hmm. and then i have some scramble sentences for you and then we'll close out with some prepositions uh with the flashcards Okay, prepositions. Yeah, prepositions. <laughs> We've had some. Um, uh, in fact, I think I sent you an email that had some uh, preposition information on there. I that. watched the video. I watched the video. Did you? Okay, yes. good, good. Very I think good everybody's video. watched it by now. <laughs> so it, the, the ones that are the hardest is, is the in, at, and by. And that's usually the hardest ones to get. And I thought the little video kind of explained it really well. So, um, 
So anyway, we'll finish up our prepositions tonight. And next week, I think we will start on, um, uh, probably we're going to review some verbs. And after we, let's say we've done adjectives and we've done um, prepositions, we'll do verbs the next couple of weeks. And then um, I would like for us to start, Miss Judy fixed a book for us that's on um, writing, how to write, uh, how to write uh, paragraphs and, and what they're to contain. And she's got some sheets in there that, that uh, I'll share with you and, and uh, uh, see if we can learn how to write a better paragraph. I need to learn too. I, I sometimes write silly stuff instead of how it's properly supposed to be done. So uh, we'll work on some of that along with our lessons because we only have, is it 10 lessons left? I think, I think we have 20 total. So, um, <clears throat> but I would like to work on some, some grammar along with this, because this doesn't go into too much grammar. It goes into a lot of vocabulary and uh, sounds and things, but not a lot of grammar. Okay, the section four is about which word does not fit. You're gonna choose the word in the line that does not fit with the rest and write it on the line at the right. So I'll give you two minutes We'll look over those and see if you can do those and then we will do them together. Okay. I didn't get my phone to do a timer. I can't find it. Let me go get it. I'll do that. <laughs> Oh, I just got Pedro's message. He's flying. Where is he flying to? I don't know. <laughs> to Chicago. <laughs> I'm going to ask him. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, y'all done? Whoops. We try. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Major catastrophe. Hang on, I gotta go get a towel. I'll be right back. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, it's the problem. Here's Tor Mike. What? Tor Mike. Autopista. There we were. Oh, yeah. The number Mike? Sí, es autopista. Es. Ajá. Todos me parecen iguales, pero bueno, me voy por la más chiquita. <risa> I will throw away. Yeah.
Sorry, it's okay. I had a big accident. Okay. I spilled my glass of water, but the bad oh. thing was it was on Miss Jennifer's lesson plan, so I had to go take the hair dryer and dry it real fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Hmm. This is not a good night for me. All right. <laughs> the floor let me get back to our page okay let's see All right, let's see. Let's hear. Okay. All right. Page 92. Mm -hmm. All right. Number one, we're going to change, I mean, uh, fix, choose the word that doesn't fit in with the other words that are in uh, that line. And number one, let's see. Norma, you want to do number one? Yes, I think it's Los Angeles. I'm not okay. sure she's right. Okay. Chicago, All right. Cincinnati is capital, but Los Angeles is a city. I think that. I don't know. Okay. Now, okay. It's Texas. That's a state, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Chicago is a, a city. City. city. Detroit, city. A, a city. city. Cincinnati is a, it's a city. City. city. 
Los Angeles is a city too. City. City. Okay. So okay. all of them are cities except what? Texas. Texas. Texas. So Texas the one that doesn't state. fit would be Texas. The okay. one that is a state, not a city. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That makes sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Number two, Maria. Number two. I think that word that doesn't belong there is uh, employee. Employee. Yes. Right. Employee. Uh -huh. All the others are what? Yes. Male people, Male sir. People. Uh -huh. Hello. So Male and Mr. are all referring to males, mm -hmm. not the gender male. Uh, so the only one that is non-gender is employee, and that could be a male or a female. Very good. Number three, Norma. Yes. For me, it's a splendid. Splendid? Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Gleam, shine, glitter, sparkle, sparkle splendid. And splendid. Yeah. All the others are like gleam and shine mm -hmm. and glitter and sparkle but splendid yeah, is splendid yes. <laughs> it's not yeah, really splendid, splendid not yeah. very sparkly is it <laughs> yes okay what about number four maria uh poppy i think poppy because can, can we call it lamb mm -hmm. Purple, cold, cold lamb poppy, poppy. Mm -hmm. Camel? Camel. Camel is camel. correct. Camel. Okay. Because okay. camel is the is... adult uh, animal, mm. right? Okay. All the others oh, are babies. Okay. The oh, cat, okay. cold, oh, yeah, the yeah. lamb, and the puppy are all baby animals. Camel. Okay, okay. camel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These That's are a little good. bit hard. Yes. <laughs> <You> really think. <laughs> Okay, number five, Norma. The number five, I have a straight highway to where outside turnpike I did. Straight highway to way. I think it's through way. You think through way? Yes, I did through way. Okay. All right, a street you drive on, right? Yes. A mm -hmm. highway you drive on, mm -hmm. a throughway or a thoroughfare you drive on, mm -hmm. a turnpike you drive on. Mm -hmm. What about the roadside? Outside. Outside you walk on. <laughs> right, you walk on that, right? It's to the side on. of the uh -huh. road. Mm -hmm. It's not really in the road. So it would be mm -hmm. roadside, roadside, the one that doesn't fit. Okay, roadside. Now, some people drive on the roadside. <laughs> <laughs> so what about people, the throughway? But that's the not way. good. Do, okay. do what? Throughway. A, a throughway is like a thoroughfare. Through. Some people call it a throughway, uh, but it's mm -hmm. like a highway or a, like a more like an oh. interstate. Oh, like okay. Interstate. Yeah. Roadside. Okay. Okay. Number six. Uh, I think it's bio, bio, bio, bio, yes, bio. that is correct, bio. Uh, stomach, pancreas, intestines, or gallbladder, or all parts of your body, but bile okay. is stuff that's in the gallbladder, um, mm -hmm. so it's something that's in there, it's not a um, body part, yeah, very good, number seven, I Cuba, Cuba, that is mm -hmm. correct. Asia, Holland, Ireland, Spain, Spain. Are, mm -hmm. are all countries that are attached to another. Cuba mm -hmm. is the only one that's an island. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's an uh, island. I, yes. Cuba. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, number eight. Uh, okay, this I'm one sure basket from around, take out, touchdown. I put basket. Basket, yeah, I'm not sure. Basket. Of what? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's sure. I'm on not this sure. One. No, it's just basket. Mm -mm. The Norma thinks basket. 
Orina. I have basket. I have basket. basket. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And on Rome, a strike out the touchdown is touchdown. about the baseball, I think. Basket, okay. I'm not sure. Goal is, I think, it's for goal. goal they make the people will play the baseball. Uh, but a basket, goal. I don't see basketball. Goal is for, any is for soccer, right? <laughs> yeah. Goal is for right. soccer. Touchdown football. The basket? Basket, I don't know. What is the, the answer? Okay, a goal yeah. is when they make a score, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A basket is when they make a basket in basketball mm -hmm. and they make a score. Okay. A home run is when they hit the ball and they go around and they make a score. Mm -hmm. What about a strikeout? It's uh, yeah. uh -huh. Strikeout. No score, okay. isn't it? No score. Okay. Touchdown. They have a touchdown and make a score. So the... Yeah. Only one that is not a score right. is the strikeout. Out. Yeah. Okay. Strikeout. Like I said, some of these are hard. You really have to think about <laughs> <Yeah>. them. <laughs> I hear when the people play baseball, they say strike. Is it not the same? Strike out. A one yeah, when, they when the people the, play um, they... baseball, uh -huh. I hear when they say a strike, is it strike out or only a strike? It's it, they get three strikes. Okay. So they'll say strike out. three times. Okay. Okay. And then af after they get the three strikes, it's a strikeout. They, okay. they it was a strike out and they have to go sit down on the bench or whatever. Okay. Um, they didn't they didn't have a chance to score. So yeah, they get okay. three strikes and they're uh -huh. out. Okay. You, you can watch uh, baseball and now they're having the World Series. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what we've had to watch the last two nights. Yes. <laughs> but it's been good. It's been uh -huh. good. So, uh, let's see. Where are we at? Number nine. Number nine. Yeah. And I don't know whose turn it is. <laughs> no. Nah, we know. I lost track. Mm. baby smuggler. Mm. I have to. <laughs> I have Nagy first budget. First budget. <laughs> I not... have a smuggler. Okay. Smuggler, smuggler is smuggler. correct. Smuggler. The first one is nag. It's kind of nag, yeah. nag, nag, nag. Uh, the first one is whiner. You're just whining about, oh, oh. I'm tired. I want to go home. I want to go to sleep. Cry baby. That's just a cry, cry baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fuss budget we learned in our story. That's uh, or in our vocabulary word. That's just a whiny person. So um, the only one that's not a uh, fussy or whiny person is a smuggler. So that oh, is okay. Great. Okay, number ten. Number ten. Okay. Goodbye for well so long. Good night. So welcome. Mm -hmm. I have a for good night. Which one does not belong? I have so long. You're welcome. So long is hasta luego. So long is okay. goodbye yeah, for where so what? long. She has okay. so long. They have a good night. Or... Maria has so long. I think so. Is your welcome? All right. Because You're goodbye for a while is so long, it's like a similar. A good night, may, baby, because they say, hi, have a good night. But if you wake up, they say, when they when the people come in, yeah? Okay, that is correct. See, yeah. sometimes when you talk it out, goodbye, yeah. you're saying goodbye, farewell means goodbye, mm -hmm. so long is goodbye. Mm -hmm. Good night yeah. is goodbye until mm -hmm. the next morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. But welcome is when someone says thank you and you say you're welcome, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so you're welcome is correct. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Number 11. Number 11, I have... Cranberry. Cranberry? <laughs> cranberry, <laughs> cranberry, yes. Yes, yes. Like yes. Every... is like a... <laughs> it's... All of them like a... Mm -hmm. uh, vegetables? Yes. And cranberry Everything is a vegetable. Food? Except cranberry. Yes. Correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, number 12. Throw crocket jacket, smooth is on heaven. I put, I put the smooth. I don't know. Smooth. Smooth. smooth. smooth. Yes, smooth. that is correct. Smooth. All the others mm -hmm. are rough, yes. 
crooked, uh-huh. jagged, uh-huh. uneven. Uh-huh. They're all uh, not perfect, but smooth would be perfect. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very good. Number 13. 13. Oh. I, ha- I have loud, loud, loud mouth. mouth. Mm-hmm. Loud, loud mouth? mouth. Yes. Mm-hmm. Loud mouth. Yes. The rest of them are bad people, like looters, yes. looters. ones that go in and take stuff, mm-hmm. mugger, uh, okay. traitor, trespasser. Trato. They're all bad people. Trespass. Trespass. Um, okay. A loud Trespass. mouth is just Trespass. a loud mouth. Like me, they have a loud mouth. They have a loud voice. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, 14. 14, I have Mm. a number one. What? Side, insult, product, urge, I put what? What? What? Insult? You put which one? Insult is like I see insult and pro, I think so the same. But the urge, I don't know. Okay. What is correct? <laughs> okay, let me look back at the definition of goad. I wrote that on there. We had that. Okay. It was um, goad. Okay. It's to to push someone someone to do something. Oh. Well, inside, inside. Over here, I have what, like a sting, a stinger. Well, I've lost it now. The other one, I see the sting, stinger, or urge. Oh, go with, yeah, go was to prod, to urge, to prod, to urge, and to incite. Mm-hmm. So, go, actually, the definition is three of the other words, isn't it? Incite, prod, and urge. So, the mm-hmm. only one that doesn't fit would be insult. That is insult. correct. Open. Yes. Go, the definition of go is incite, prod, or urge. So Mm -hmm. all of those are the same. So insult. Okay, number 15. I have packed. Packed. Packed. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh, packed. Okay. All right. (laughs) The number 15, it's talking about to the some business. <laughs> okay, it's talking I about. I think it's clause, contract, lease, clause, pact, agreement. Clause, contract, lease, agreement, pact. Okay. I think contract about Contract is something business. you sign, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, contract with someone. You have a lease. You're going to sign the lease on your house. Mm-hmm. I think clause. A pact is going to be a pact that you have with someone, maybe it's uh, uh, for peace or for um, end of a war, Mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, An agreement is something you agree on with someone. It's like a binding contract if it's an agreement. In the clause is the most important to read. (laughs) Right, right. Clause (laughs) is that one little little piece Yes. Of all the rest of these. Yeah. The last four, the contract, the lease, the pack, and the agreement are all the big mm-hmm. contract or thing. Yes. But clause is just one part of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the, usually it's the little one in little print that you have to read. Be sure you mm-hmm. read that. Yeah, to make sure you <laughs> read that. <Plus. laughs> You'll get in trouble. So that's, that's that. Those were a little bit, they were a little bit hard. They were hard for me. I had to think a lot on that. So, okay. so what is the correct answer? Uh, the correct answer, answer is clause, the first one. Oh, clause. Okay. Mm-hmm. Clause. clause is just the one little part. Okay. But the whole Let's part the is number the contract 15, what is, release. What is the good answer? Agreement. Because I have a yes. insult. Number 14. Oh, number 14. Insult. 14. Insult. Okay. 14 was insult. Insult. 
Okay. Well, insult. Hmm. Insult. Insult is is insult. insulting some somebody. Is saying, it bad words? Say other your hair people. looks awful today. <laughs> yeah, yes. giving them a, a, a something, saying something bad to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Bad words. Things with words other. Okay, number five or section five is we're talking about the uh, sounds of G. We have two sounds for G. One is the um, hard sound like the G that's in oh, gag, yeah. got, yeah. Or gum. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the other is the soft sound like um, is uh, found in germ or gin. Mm -hmm. And usually it's followed by an E or an I. That's the easy way to spot it. The hard letters are followed by A, O, or U. And the soft letter is followed by E or I. So that's easy to um, uh, Remember. decide mm -hmm. if it's a hard sound or a soft sound. Hard so in sound. these words, they ask you to put a G above the hard sound and a J above the soft sound in the words. The mm -hmm. first one is garbage. Garbage. Two G. Garbage. Mm -hmm. the, the first one is a harder soft. Garbage. Garbage. Mm -hmm. Garbage. The first G is the hard sound. The second G is the soft sound. Okay. Okay. Soft Number two. Guilty. Soft guilty. or hard. Guilty. guilty. It's uh, so it's hard. Hard yeah. sound. Hard yeah. sound. Uh -huh. Number three, ginger. Uh ginger. It's, uh, soft. Soft. Yes, soft. soft. soft. And mm -hmm. then yes. Chicago. Soft. Chicago. Chicago. It's a hard. Hard um, sound. Hard yes. Sound. Mm -hmm. Gutter. Gutter. It's a hard. Hard. hard sound. Yes. Hard sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six. Gown. Gown. Gown. It's hard. It's hard. Hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number seven mm -hmm. has two G. Gorge. Mm -hmm. Gorge. Is the, uh, the first one is hard. hard, and the huh? second one is mm -hmm. uh, soft. soft. Yes, yes. The first one is hard, and the second one is soft. soft. Number uh -huh. eight, George. Is the same George. hard sound. Same hard sound. Ja, ja, George. Oh, no, soft. Ja. It, oh, no, it's soft. Soft, yes. Soft. Mm -hmm. George. Soft. Yeah, those are soft. George. Soft. And... Number nine, urgently. Urgently. It's soft. Urgent. Urgent. It's soft. Soft. soft. It is soft. Yes. Yeah, it's soft. Mm -hmm. okay. Number 10, gap. Gap. Hard. Gap. It's hard. That's a gap. hard one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hard. Double. Number 11, gobble. Gobble. Gobble. It's gobble. Uh, soft. Uh, Hard. Gobble. Hard, hard sound. Hard, uh -huh. Yes. Hard sound. Hard. Number 12, gentle. Gentle. gentle. Soft. Gentle. Soft sound. Soft yes. sound. Gentle. Soft gentle. sound. <laughs> Drawbridge. Drawbridge. It's a uh, soft. Soft. Soft. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. Gauze. Gauze. Gauze. It's a hard sound. Hard mm -hmm. sound, yes. Mm -hmm. 15 is barge. barge. Barge. It's a soft. Soft. Soft yes. sound. It is mm -hmm. correct. It is a soft sound. And you can go back and look at those and see that the hard sounds are followed by O's and A's and U's and the soft mm -hmm. sounds are followed mm -hmm. by the E's uh, and the I's. So, mm -hmm. okay. Number six 
is words beginning with D I S. Okay. <laughs> that is a prefix that you can add to words uh, that changes the meaning of the words. So there are six sentences, and I'm going to give you about three minutes to let you look over those and see which of those DIS words go into the blanks, into the sentences. I will set my timer mm -hmm. for three minutes. Oh, Pedro's going to Denver. Oh. <laughs> He's going to Denver. Take a vacation. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sonia says she's not home right now, so. Okay. <laughs> Oh, piddle sticks.
Kimse olmayanlar mı? İsa evet doğru. Okay. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. We we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't sound like you're ready. <laughs> yes. Uh, the time is done. Okay. We'll work. We'll work them out together. If you haven't okay. got some. Of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one has two in it, and I'll be nice and do the first one. Okay. <laughs> the Saturday morning paper disclosed mm -hmm. the fact disclosed that the, fact. the president of the city's largest firm, oh. Herman Frank, mm -hmm. had been arrested for drunken and disorderly conduct. Okay. Yes, disorderly conduct. I did. I did. Okay. Everybody got those? I did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Disclosed means they told Disclosed. the story, they told about it, and mm -hmm. disorderly conduct is, of course, yeah. not very good. I know. <laughs> not good conduct. <laughs> he drank too much. <laughs> yeah, he drank too much. He was being too loud and wild. So, yeah. Okay, number two. Um, Maria, you want to do number two? Okay. Frank, this uh, disgrace to police officers before other officers managed to handcuff him and disperse disperse the crowd that had for, formed to watch the excitement excitement what is that excitement the last part excitement. the last word excitement excitement excitement excitement uh -huh. excitement yeah they were excited uh -huh. there was um the the the crowd was looking at the excitement what was going okay. on mm -hmm. something different was going on uh he was trying to they were trying to handcuff someone so they wanted to mm -hmm. see the excitement that was going on excitement okay okay um and what was in the first blank disgrace disgrace uh-huh well from disgrace I put discovery. Oh. I Disappointed? I put disabled. Disabled? 
two police I, officers before other officers managed to handcuff him. Um, I put disabled because I thought maybe he got away from them or, okay. or maybe kicked them or hit them where they couldn't do their job. He disabled. Okay, disabled. That's what I put. Uh, and disperse the crowd uh, to make them go away. To, to Will the next one disease? Do what? Will the next one? The hand of him. Disperse. I, I have disperse. Dis yeah, to disperse the crowd. Disperse. Mm -hmm. okay. Disperse makes disperse. them go in different directions to, to go okay. home. He told the crowd to go home. But there they was don't watch else. the president. Right. Go watch the president. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number three. Number three. I put what I blank exclaiming the sentences to each other as the I put this pairs of here or what has happened is spread like a wildfire through to the town. I put what uh, this race is climbing the citizens to each other as they the other as they this is disappointing. Okay, and you had what in the first blank? Disabled. Disabled. disabled. Mm -hmm. What a disabled. Okay, Maria, what do you have? That is no good. <laughs> I have what a, what a disgracefully. Disgracefully. What a disgracefully. Okay, how about what a discovery? Discovery. Okay. What a discovery. discovery. They mm, discovered something. Discovery. They discovered mm. what was going on. So they were screaming, what a discovery. Exclaim the citizens to each other as the disgrace of Is what this? happened mm -hmm. read like wildfire through the town. It was a disgrace that um, Mr. Herman Frank was mm -hmm drunken and disorderly and got handcuffed mm -hmm. and probably took to jail. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so it was a disgrace to the community. Disgrace of what happened. It's pretty like, okay. And they made that discovery. They found that. They okay. saw that. They found that happening. Okay. And they said, what a discovery. I mean, it's just the way children. Okay, I disagree. Happened. Oh, yes, yeah, disagree. And mm, okay, we got but that both of those, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. How could oh, it's my turn. Uh -huh. mm, how could that man be president of anything? Complain one old busybody. He clearly has a disease mind yes mm -hmm. yeah clearly has a diseased mind this is mine okay she was being nice and not saying he was crazy she was just saying mm -hmm. he had a diseased mind okay very good number five Norman. Yes. and George, the next morning everyone was aware for the frank family who could feel themselves being started at, at as if they were the ones who had acted disappointed. Disgracefully. No, they acted disgracefully. Disgracefully? Mm -hmm. Disgracefully. Oh. They weren't, they weren't very graceful. They were disgraceful. Okay. So they acted disgracefully. Okay. Or he acted disgracefully. They didn't. That was his family. But the yeah. people looked at him like they were the ones that had yeah. acted disgracefully. Okay, number six. The townspeople were disappointed when everything 
settle down. Nothing this existing had happened in more than 50 years. Hey, exciting? They were just, exciting. Yes. Exciting. Exciting. Yes. Exciting. Yeah. I read, I read yeah, they were disappointed. You are correct. They were disappointed when everything was said and done because nothing that exciting had happened in 50 years. Yes. Okay. All right. That, small town. <laughs> <laughs> that finishes that chapter. I mean, that lesson. Any uh, questions on any of those? I know some of them were a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know a little bit hard. The, the DIS words, I think, were a little bit hard because we haven't had too many of those words uh, to talk mm -hmm. about. So uh, that made that a little bit hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, next week we'll start the review. Uh, the first two are, are word studies. Uh, they're words that will be put in the uh, those blanks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might need to add a, a, a ED on the end of it uh, or an mm -hmm. S uh, depending on how this, this uh, sentence is written. So you'll have to, you might have to read the sentence two or three times to be sure you have the correct form of the word, uh, whether it needs an ED or an S or just the word. Okay. And then Section three is on synonyms. Usually synonyms are pretty easy. They're, uh, uh, synonyms mean the same, words that mean the same. So they're a little bit easy. Uh, antonyms, uh, part four are the uh, words that are opposite. They're totally different. Um, okay. In section five, you're gonna review sounds. Uh, there are lots of sounds that we talked about all uh, in the lessons, previous uh, lessons, G and C and double O's and O's and Y's and E A E I O U and I E. So you'll have those. And number six is common ways of saying something. Choose the word at the left that best describes how Americans tend to express the say their themselves in the following cases. And if you'll look at some of those, some of those are like the idioms we've been talking about um, that like in the first one, it says, how you describe a person who always seems to be losing his temper. He has a short and the answer is fuse. So he had, I did the first one for you. He has a short fuse, fuse meaning his fuse is really, really short. And if you light it, he's going to, it's going to blow up real fast. Uh, so that yeah. means it, it, it doesn't take much to, to have uh, this person lose his temper. Um, mm -hmm. But all of those are kind of like idioms. So they may be a little bit strange sounding to you. So, uh, mm -hmm. but do your best and we'll go over them next week. I don't know if we should get through. We'll try to, I don't know if we'll do the whole review or not. Uh, we may do half of it next week and then half of it the next. We'll see. But that's what we'll do next week. Now, let's look at, let's look at some idioms. Let's see if mm -hmm. I can find my share screen again. We'll look at a couple of idioms. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, piddle sticks. Well. Oh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, can you, I'll make this even a little bigger. Can you see those in the bold print? Mm -hmm. Okay, these are all about 
uh, an active lifestyle. Um, and lifestyle is just how, how you live your life. Um, and these are uh, words that are uh, idioms that have different um, definitions that you would normally uh, use these words for. The first one is early bird. Early bird. Mm -hmm. Someone who likes to rise up early in the morning like, oh, he's a real early bird. He likes to get up and go exercise early in the morning. Yeah. Right. And that one's, that one's kind of easy. Early bird, that's, that kind of tells you they're getting up early. <laughs> and the second one, if you're not oh. an early bird, you might be a night owl. And yeah. a night owl is someone that likes to stay up late at night. Um, so some, some people are early birds and some people are night owls. Some mm -hmm. like to get up early and do things and some like to do things late at night. Mm -hmm. Okay, another uh, saying is night on the town. I'm going to have a town. night on the town on Friday. It means an evening of oh, yeah. dinner uh, or of, mm -hmm. uh, dining and entertainment. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we're going out yeah. to eat at a restaurant and then we're going to a movie. Um, that would be a night on the town. Um, another saying is live life in the fast lane. Uh, to lead a very active social life. I don't have a very active social life. So I don't know what it's <laughs> like to live in the fast lane. Um, yeah. It's kind of like the movie stars that have lots of places to be and things to do. So... Um, uh, they live life in the fast lane. Mm -hmm. Okay, another saying is live it up to enjoy yeah. life by spending money freely. So I can't do that because I don't have any money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, a sentence might be, I'm going to live it up and go to Opry Mills and spend that hundred dollars. Yeah. So, um, but the, the Spend money freely. Okay, uh, the next one is have a ball or have a good time. Uh, mm -hmm. To enjoy oneself greatly, to have pleasure. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of times, uh, uh, oh, I'm going to the ball game and, I'm, well, ball game, that sounds silly. I'm going to the dance and have a good time or have yeah. a ball. Okay, have a ball. Mm, I'm going to enjoy myself. Uh and if you enjoy and yourself a lot, uh, they call you. When I read a, a book. Do I? Uh, can I say have a have a ball when I read a book? I be alone in my house. <laughs> well, yeah. If that's what you're enjoying, if that's yes. what you enjoy a lot, I'm yes. gonna have a ball. I'm gonna go home and read a book. <laughs> yes, uh, I like yeah, that. you can say that. Because <laughs> um, that's what music. it means. <laughs> it means to enjoy oneself great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And they may call you a party animal. Party animal. A party animal is someone who likes party to have animal. fun a lot yeah, or all okay. the time. Usually it's, uh, uh, you may have a, a friend that you know that loves to go to parties and loves to do things all the time. Um, party animal. <laughs> you call him a party animal. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think it's true. <laughs> okay. To throw a party. Um, it means to invite guests to a party. I'm going to throw you okay. a birthday party okay. next week. Uh, and you may have heard that one. I'm going to throw a party next week for your birthday. Um, I'll be throw a party. Invite yeah. guests to a party. It means okay. to invite some guests okay. to a party. Uh, okay. Another one is get out and about. Um, get out. Get out. Uh, I'll get out. Just okay. leave home for a social activity. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to get out and go to the party, I guess. And okay. I'm going to get out and go to the uh, uh, movies. Uh, but to get out and about, to go somewhere else besides your home and, and do something fun. Okay, so all of these have to do with the social life. You might have heard some of them and you might have not heard some of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's look at the, we have, I think there's five. Uh, 
Uh, let's see if I can make it a little bit smaller and you can still see it. Okay, there's five. I'm gonna make just a little bit there. Okay. There's five uh, questions and you'll uh, see if you can answer it with their A, B, C, D, or E. I'll read the question and you all give me an answer. Number one, how much money did you spend on your trip? What would your answer be? A, B, C, D, or E? B. I'm not sure, but I know that we leave it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. B is in bold. Yes. I'm yes, not sure, but I know we sure, lived it up. Because to live it up was enjoy life by spending money freely, right? Okay, good. Number two, would you like to go out for a night on the town if I pay for everything? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I uh, have a ball. Hey, hey, yes, hey, yes. Hey, great. You were <laughs> we but can really have I a ball. Am. Yeah. Exactly. If you're paying, we can really have a ball. Okay, number three. Are you really throwing a party this weekend? Uh, D. D. Yes, I am. And of course, you are invited. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, yes. Number four. Would you like to go out to a nightclub again tonight? Babe, hey, you pay, we can really have a See? ball. <laughs> <laughs> I think we already did that one. <laughs> I think, uh, C? C, no thanks. I'm not the party animal <laughs> that, you are. <laughs> that you are. Because <laughs> evidently they'd been the night before because it said, would you like to go out to a nightclub again tonight? Mm -hmm. So they'd mm -hmm. been before. So yes. he was a party animal. And the party animal. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Why doesn't nothing. old Mr. Olson get out and about more? It, it, it's hard for him to have a yes, good time his wife since his died. wife died. Yes, yes, that is correct. It's hard for him to get out and have a good time mm -hmm. uh, since his wife died, but to get out, to get out of the house for a social activity is what yeah. that means, to get out. So, okay, y'all did good on those. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> All right. Now, I have, well, I didn't mean to stop share. We're going to do, um, I have some scramble sentences. Let's see what time it is. I said I was going to stop at 8 o'clock, didn't I? Uh, we can save the scramble sentences and do them next week if you want to. Okay. And write me a for homework for next week. I was going to give you all some homework this week. Now there's just two of you. But hey, we can still do homework. Oh, let me stop share here. I got y'all looking at my emails. Good gracious. Come on, stop share. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, write me a paragraph for next week. And I want it about, title it, what I like best about fall. <laughs> A paragraph about what? Fall or autumn. Fall or autumn, whichever oh, you want to the, say. The, the, season. the season, the, the fall season. season. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What I like best about fall. Okay. Uh, four or five sentences will be fine. It doesn't have to be a long paragraph. Uh, okay. Just four or five sentences. We haven't, we haven't written a lot in a while. So um, we'll write some and see how we do writing. And then uh, we'll know what part that we need to study up on when we get to the writing part um, in a okay. few fall, weeks. Fall and I what? like fall because I drink too much coffee. Winter? Fall, <laughs> winter? Oh. Fall, fall and winter? Fall. Fall, fall. fall winter, fall, summer, and spring. Uh, ah, okay. 
fall, winter, summer, and spring. So we're going to do fall. Ben's, this is the fall time of year. Oh, it's this season. It's this season. No, this season. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll do fall. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Well, I said I would quit at eight, so y'all won't have to be on here all night. I think last week we went to eight fifteen, and oh, it about wore us out, Pedro and Sonia. So <laughs> it was about eight fifteen or eight twenty before we stopped. So I hate to keep y'all on here all night. Uh, so we will stop now, and uh, we'll see you next week. Any questions or anything on your mind before we go? <laughs> no, I don't. No, no, no, I don't have questions. Thank you. Have you. fun this week and stay you safe. Too. Thank you. We will see you next week. I will see, see you next week. week. Yay. Maybe, Pedro you. Maybe Pedro won't be flying next week. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you, ladies. Bye. See you, Mrs. Bye. Have a good night. Bless you, you too. Bye bye. Bye.